Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's time for a lovely tea TV shout out. So I want to go ahead and shout out Giant.com. If you guys don't know, they're a new app company. And basically, it's almost like having a doctor that you can talk to and tell your symptoms to, okay? So this app, all you have to do is download it onto your phone. It's available everywhere. But in the state of California, you can get real doctor service via the app between the hours of 4 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The Giant app not only connects you with real doctors, but it can also provide you with a prescription and it can also give you medication refills as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to work this app. Go ahead and check this out. All right, so I want to show you guys how you guys can get this app on your phone. So you're going to go on to Giant.com. So it's going to ask you, are you feeling sick? Are you just looking around? Make sure you put in that you're feeling sick. And then at that point, it's going to ask you, do you have an account? And then all you have to do is just put in your information, email address. Um, You go ahead and log in. And then once you're logged in, you can literally talk to this thing. It's an AI. So you can talk to them just like you would. It's almost like a virtual doctor. So you can say things like, you know, do I need a flu shot? I have a headache. You know, I have cramps. My nose is bleeding things like that, and it will talk back to you and try and diagnose your symptoms. So for example, after I put in my information, it confirmed all of that information um, by saying that I'm a woman, I live in Concord, and then I was able to confirm everything. Then it goes on to ask different questions like, do you have a runny nose? So you just go ahead and answer the questions, and then at that point in time, they will get you hooked up to a doctor. It will also ask you things like, how long have you had these nasal symptoms? Is your throat scratchy? Is your throat sore? And then you just go about answering yes or no. And then after you answer the basic questions, then it tells you, by the way, I can connect you with the human provider. So at that point, they connect you to a doctor and that doctor comes on and they start asking you questions about your symptoms, you know, things like that. So this is a really, really good app. So for more information on the Giant app, make sure to click the pinned comment down below. All right, so speaking of doctors, honey, if you guys do not know, Bill Cosby, a.k.a. Dr. Heathcliff Huxtable, has just been sentenced to three to 10 years in prison, okay? So the other day, Bill Cosby was finally convicted And they did not allow him to go home, be on house arrest. He was sent to a maximum security prison for basically raping and drugging women. So this entire situation is crazy. It's caused a lot of controversy online. A lot of people are screaming fire. They're saying that this is racism. Other people are saying this is justice. He put himself in this situation and justice has finally been served. And one person who's been very, very vocal about the situation is Amber Rose. And a lot of folks are feeling some type of way about her comment because she basically wished Bill Cosby death. So this situation got really messy on Instagram the other day. I'm going to read to you guys what Amber Rose had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So Amber Rose says, man, fuck the fact that he's old. Fuck the fact that he was on TV. He's a sexual predator just like Trump and Harvey. I hope they all get their day as well. So y'all going to sit there and tell me that all of the women are lying? Fuck out of here. If Bill Cosby raped and drugged any of you women slash men that I've been seeing on the internet standing up for this rapist or your mamas, you'd be scared to say something too because you would assume that no one would believe you. Shit, I would actually be scared to say something because his entire life he's been put in such a positive light. That's why he got away with it for so long. We should be praising these women for showing us exactly who he is. I hope he doesn't die in jail. I hope he does the full 10 years, then dies the day he gets out. Shrugs, justice finally served. Shame the rapists, not the survivors. Bye. Honey, she drugged the shit out of damn Bill Cosby now, didn't she? Okay, so Amber Rose is not here for the foolishness. She's not here for none of that bullshit. She said, you know what, F Bill Cosby, I'm not feeling this. He's guilty. It is what it is, okay? Now, granted, he is guilty. You know what I'm saying? They found him guilty in a court of law. But I cannot lie that, you know, watching this old man in handcuffs, who's been very revered in the black community, who's always been seen as a positive light, you know what I'm saying? He's done a lot for Temple University. He's done a lot for other up-and-coming actors and actresses. He's put a lot of people on. So to see him being charged with that and to see him being led away in handcuffs, that did something to not only myself, but to a lot of people. 
But at the end of the day, the victims are finally getting their justice, okay? So now it's been reported that Bill Cosby is now refusing to pay any more money to his defense team. And I think the reason why he's refusing to pay them is obviously because he lost and he's in jail. So he feels like, you know what, why am I going to keep paying y'all and I'm locked up? Is that the right thing to do? No, it's not. But that's what they're saying. So now they're proceeding to sue Bill Cosby for the remainder of their payment, okay? But now what's even more crazy is this. Radar Online is reporting that Bill Cosby's first night in prison was anything but pleasant, which I'm not surprised because he is at a maximum security prison, okay, at the age of 81. He basically called his wife Camilla, and this is what he told her. Check this out. So according to Rap Radar, Bill Cosby spent some time complaining and pleading to his wife Camilla after spending the first day of his 3-10 to ten year sentence behind bars. After the sentencing, Bill Cosby was allegedly allowed a brief phone call by speakerphone to his wife, who also wasn't in attendance. He allegedly told Camilla, they took my cane and the shoelaces because they think I will harm myself. Then he stated he had a stale hot dog bun thrown at him and he fell down a few steps because he wasn't being guided. And then lastly, he also stated he was under siege. He wants his wife to try everything to get him out from behind bars by grabbing the checkbook and hiring anyone and everyone that could get him out of there as soon as possible. All right, so that is what Rap Radar, I think I had said Radar online earlier, but Rap Radar, that's what they're reporting. So Bill Cosby is definitely not having the best week ever, okay? He's definitely going to go through it. And the sad part is that was just day one, okay? They gave this man anywhere from three to ten years. And again, when you're doing nefarious shit, when you're doing devious shit, you know what I mean? There's consequences to be paid for that. But I will say this. I hope they have the same energy and they apply the same consequences when Harvey Weinstein's trial comes up, okay? I hope he gets the same time. I hope they're not lenient on him because they damn sure were not lenient on Bill Cosby. You know, there's other people like I've talked about in the past who are not only sexual deviants, but they're also predators and they've done a lot of shady stuff in the industry, okay? Bill Cosby was not the only one drugging women and raping them and doing all that mess. You know, Hugh Hefner, there's been a lot of documented reports about all the little sinister, sadistic shit that Hugh Hefner would do at the Playboy Mansion. And him and Bill Cosby were very, very close friends, okay? There's a lot of crazy things that go on in Hollywood. There's a lot of sinister things that go on. You know, so I don't put anything past anybody, especially, you know, a lot of people look at Bill Cosby as a father figure. But again, that's just a character on television. You never truly know somebody, okay? Now, with all that being said, I have to be honest. I really feel like there's more at play. Even if he's guilty, the fact that they're allowing cases as old as 30 years ago, you know, to testify, to me, definitely makes me give the situation the side eye. And I also feel like it's even bigger than Bill Cosby. I feel like, you know, them charging him and throwing him in prison and just the way everything played out, that they did it to like psychologically evoke emotion in black people to let black folks know that it doesn't matter how big you get, how successful you get, or how much you rub shoulders with the rich and famous. If we want to come after you, even if it's 30 years later, we can. I feel like this whole Bill Cosby situation is definitely sending a message, a subconscious message to the masses of black people. Like, you know, at the end of the day, if we want you, we will come after you and we will take you down. Now, am I saying that he's not guilty of doing some, you know, messed up stuff? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that it's so odd that they're bringing cases from years ago. It's so odd that so many in Hollywood were doing the same thing around that time and even now to this day. And a lot of them have not been prosecuted. A lot of them have just been, you know, able to kind of just slide away. You know, even when I talked about the Stephen Collin case, I was one of the first people to talk about that on YouTube, how, you know, there was such a difference. This man openly admitted to molesting two girls. He has not been charged. He's not been ashamed as Bill Cosby. They took um, Seventh Heaven off the air and then quietly would put it back on the air after, you know, the mothers that were on the show were complaining about their kids not getting residuals. But yet and still, the Cosby show was pulled off the air for two years. So there's a lot of blatant hypocrisy. There's a lot of underlying racism that I am seeing with this whole Bill Cosby case. Not to negate anything that he did, but I feel like his arrest that walk of shame, 
his mugshot, the way everything just played out over the past few days was to subconsciously tell black folk, you know, if you start to get too big headed, if you start to get too comfortable, they can and will come after you. So while I do agree with a lot of what Amber Rose was saying, you know, he did, there's proof, you know, you guys can't deny that there is proof that he drugged people. He also admitted to doing this. Okay. So this is not me taking up for him, but I also feel like there's a bigger picture that they're trying to send a message. So he was found guilty of this. You know what I mean? There's nothing we can do. There's nothing I can type. There's no video I can post. There's nothing, you know, people can get mad and make all the memes they want. It's not going to change anything in the court of law, okay? Right now, this man has been sentenced, and he's going to do at least a minimum of three years. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, concerning Bill Cosby and his sentencing, how do you guys feel about that? Do you feel like the sentence was just? Do you feel like it was unjust? And then how do you guys feel about what Amber Rose had to say? Do you agree with her? Or do you feel like Amber Rose needs a tall glass to shut the fuck up and she needs to go sit down somewhere? And then also, how do you feel about the alleged phone call that Bill Cosby had with his wife Camilla on how horrible his first day of prison went? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.